after he falls over, he gets up and is like, I'm calling the cops. And everyone in the gym is just like, what's going on? Like, what is he? We thought he was joking. Story everybody's talking about. Most viewed story of the day on Fox5DC.com. A Virginia man calls the police after he gets fouled during a pickup basketball game. Yeah, this happened at an LA fitness in Sterling. Tonight, we're hearing from a man who was part of that game gone wrong. Fox5's Lindsey Watts has the story. This is the hardest foul in America, bro. What you guys say, bro? You calling the cops if you get fouled, Berto? You calling the cops if you get fouled? You calling the cops if you get fouled? Inside this LA fitness, a basketball game ended up being wrapped by Loudoun County Sheriff's deputies. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it. This man was there for it and first to tell the world on Twitter Monday night. He says this guy called authorities on this guy. No punches were thrown, nothing. It wasn't malicious, no hits to the face or anything like that. He didn't want to use his name, but described what he witnessed. If you know basketball, he says the move in question was a pick. Basically, just you just stand here and maintain your ground, mm -hmm. and, and he just ran up. Ran he ran up, him. ran into him. He probably he might not have seen him because no one told him the pick was coming. So he just ran into him, fell down kind of hard. I mean, that's that's basketball. You know, you that's nothing you would call the police about. <laughs> you know, his his hands are you know down here. The guy who fell had the gym receptionist call for help. Sheriff Southhead. Hi, yes, uh, I'm calling from LA Fitness at the Dallas Town Center, and uh, a member got assaulted. Based on this call, does the victim need an ambulance, anything like that? No, uh, no. Deputies thought they were responding to something more serious. Another player posted this video. Have you ever been called for a basketball foul before the? No. Is this your first time? <laughs> That's my first basketball foul. <laughs> You were coming for a basketball foul? Not for that, no. I just heard it was a fight. Oh, okay. But I'm like, all right. Man, they called you for a foul, man. The sheriff's office says in the end, neither man involved wanted to file a formal report. Perhaps most bizarre about all this, our witness says that after deputies left, both men went back on the court to finish the game. Everyone kept playing. That's what's so bizarre about the whole situation. It's like, why did it have to be that serious? He says he doesn't believe there was some bigger issue behind what happened. Why, PV? You can tell it was strictly basketball. It was there was no racial undertones or anything like that. And lastly, he says even if there had been real referees at the game, there would have been no call. I, even the NBA, as it is now, because people think you know a lot of fouls and stuff are called now, it would not have been a foul. It would just everyone had kept playing. Like it wouldn't have even been an afterthought. Lindsay Watts reporting there. Now, we did try to reach out to the guy who called the sheriff's office. We've not yet heard back.